kind of buzz through these, these uh, here. Eat to Live is a really great book. Um, it's by Dr. Joel Furman. Uh, the big message here is he's got over 20, 000, experience with over 20,000 patients, probably even more than that now. He's got this really cool equation that's health equals nutrition divided by calories. So the more nutrient dense your food is based on the number of calories it has, then the better it is for you. And it's sort of a meter that you can use for just about everything. So um, if something has hardly any nutrients, then the, then the numerator or the top number is going to be low, right? Let's say two, okay? But if it has lots of calories, so the denominator is going to be like 30, okay? So it's two over 30, okay? So nu nutrition equals two over 30. Is that a good number or a bad number? That's a bad number, right? Because it's like less than one, two divided by 30. Okay, so nutrients equals nutrition or, or um, health equals nutrition divided by calories. So if you have something that has like, like a stick of broccoli, it's like totally packed with nutrition. Okay, so the number on the top, the numerator is really high, but like how many calories are in it? How many calories are in like a, you know, a stick of broccoli? Like very low, right? So then you have like this high numerator with a really low denominator, that means it's healthy. Okay, that's really what his, that's what his bent is. I probably reference the charts and graphs in this book more than any other book when I'm talking to people because there's so many good things in there. I've, I mean, I've even memorized some of the pages where some of this stuff is on because people ask me so often. But one of the ones I like the most is uh, this on page uh, 120 and 121. It talks about the, the nutrient density line. And I, I like this as a matter of reference. And I want to tell you that Everybody knows like raw nuts and seeds are good for you, right? Guess where they end up on the line of 1 to 100 in terms of nutrient density? Any guesses? Now remember, these are good for you. They are at 20. Does that surprise you? I mean, I would have thought, eh, it's probably 70, 80, you know, lots of essential fatty acids and different things, right? They're at 20. At 45 is fresh fruit. Guess what 100 is, the one at the top? Basically, it's barley max. Any kind of raw, leafy, green vegetables is at 100. So from a nutrient density standpoint, raw, leafy, green vegetables are what we're designed to eat. Fruits are great. They're at 45. Nuts and seeds are at 20. Guess what's below that? Let's start from zero and we'll go up to about 10 or so. Refined sweets, refined oils, grains, cheese, fat, dairy, red meat, eggs, fowl, uh, dairy, uh, fat-free dairy, and fish. Those are, that's kind of the bottom sector, bottom 10%, which is where 98% of us eat. We spend our whole time in that bottom 10 or 15%. So Eat to Live is a really, really good book, incredibly good resource. I reference it a lot, as you can see.